Well, it's mail time. Ooh, stomach grumbling as well. Another tri clamp. A few fittings just to uh, have them to see if they'll work various little uh, bends and things to make uh, make pipe work up to uh, mock things up see if uh, need to build something or find something commercially available another two inch tri clamp which I've got a couple of adapters on their way god knows how long they'll take as they now start to do combined shipping in the uh, false idea that uh, they're doing you a favour by combining your shipments which basically means that you order something and they stick it in a warehouse until something else you've ordered turns up I've just had five different packages turn up then they're supposed to send it express the only problem is I've had um, some modelling stuff sat in a warehouse in Liege in Belgium for at least two and a half weeks not doing a damn thing some other stuff I've ordered has now been the postal codes on it are going to be shipped to Belgium and the Netherlands. Hello, I'm in the UK. Ah, so that means God knows how long I want to get everything ordered in before September because that's when uh, things start getting a bit mad. Well, it's a very big um, holy holy. You should have ordered the 3 8 one. Never mind, that's here now. The only fun is that's NPT and my fittings are BSP. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, if that goes in, we should be able to get the HLT finished at least. Alright, let's see if we can find some other bits that I probably haven't got and need to order and wait another month. Well, after much heffing and jeffing, and trying every bloody fitting I've got because there all seems to be a slight different tolerance in them and some BSP will happily screw into others and some won't and NPT will screw in part of the way, some of the way, all of the way or none of the way. This fitting doesn't like NPT or BSP yet they'll happily screw on it I don't know about this, some, but the bit I want, I was trying to see if this would angle down because such law, you know, I did find a, a fully threaded coupling all the way through from one end to the other rather than being part so it allows me to screw it in as far as I can get it and um, what do you know, it's sticking in the freaking ear so I was going to try that angled one which is too acute, the angle's far too much, so I've got to go there. Um, and I just like to use some tape because it's just too loose on my fitting. And uh, probably just put a piece of pipe there or something, a bit of silicone hose, just so it gets right to the bottom. Just for emptying it at the end of the day, really, rather than anything else, because obviously below the element and he's actually touching that so I don't know whether that will prove a problem up against the back of the cap but I haven't got a short yeah so as you can see that's screwed in fairly well considering they're all BSP and that bit's NPT sometimes they work sometimes they don't sometimes it depends on which way the taper or the thread's going but um, it doesn't like going in these but that other one it'll fit but uh, I don't care as long as it fits the only problem is it's just a tad too long and there's not really a lot I can do about it and I really don't want to go around cutting that threaded nipple down and uh, having to go through all the grief of getting it to fit back in so it will be see that one's threaded all the way through which works perfectly because obviously that one you can only screw in as far as that thread goes so you've got a bit of dead space same with this coupling which is a bit taller than the other one so I've gone, luckily I had another one of those bigger 
that will uh, have to suffice. It will get us working, that's the main thing. Even if it is pointing in the wrong direction, I don't know whether I can put a slight bend on that or whether that will be uh, a bit of a fatal error. But, uh, the other one available is too short. And the other one wouldn't have worked because that was a 90 degree, not a 45 bend. So that would have been hitting the base of the keg halfway up the concave. So it is, is what it is. Got to work with what we got to get the job done. We even tried that. And uh, that don't want to go in a lot either. But uh, I couldn't get it in the elbow. Admittedly I haven't tried to put it in the vise and putting a spanner on this. But uh, some things it fits, sometimes it doesn't. It goes on them, so uh, that will work for me if uh, I need to make a 45 up. And that will screw on that. I think that'll go all the way to the end. No, it's no going tight. But that's in. Yeah, it's all the way at the end. Yeah, another bloody thing. Won't even get the first turn on. Oh well. Well, I don't know how well that's picking up because I can't see. Um, the bottom compression joint weeps slightly under pressure test from the tap. And uh, I thought, well, I know that's gone, so I'll fill it up anyway and just see if the integrity of the outside taps is holding. And as you can see by the fact there's a rag around it, top one uh, has failed. I just got just above it up to the barrel band there and it started to leak. The bottom one's not though, sod's law. So I'll just put that on so it doesn't give me a false thingy but it doesn't really matter now so it's a bit of a pain in the arse but the small bore pipe doesn't seem to be too adversely affecting that bearing in mind it will be pulled with a pump as well I've extended it with a, a little bit of uh, food grade beer hose just so it sort of sits as low down as I can get it anyway so we've got to start again, pull it out, strip all the PTFE tape off, um, just wish there was a way of trying to pressure test the coil and getting that 100% before I fanny about putting it in the pot. I'll have to have a think if I've got any way of putting a half inch end stop on or something, because obviously you need to let the air out when you fill it with water and then leave it under pressure and see uh, see what happens but there are double olive on those that one was a little bit of a kink in the pipe I thought if anything was going to fail it would be that top one because it even moved still rotated around in the olive when I was putting the tap on but that has held and the bottom one in and it would be the bottom one so you can't get down there and put a couple of spanners on and I'll put larger washers on because there's a slightly little machine face in front of the nut and uh, the other ones sit against that rather than those ones slip over it but as you can see now they've started to pull over the nut so I'm worried over sort of expansion of heat if uh, that expands too much and the nut slips off you'll have the same potential problem as I might have with heating elements so I shall have to examine that as well because the problem is the other ones make it sit a little bit off you can't get a flat fixing against the side wall and the time you put a washer on and a rubber seal there's not a lot left for you to screw into it pulls and then obviously it pulls tight too early and deforms the washer and then obviously you still get a failure because uh, even that one started to deform. Um, I mean that is feels quite loose. But I can't get it any tighter because the tighter you go, the more that deforms, the more chance there is of leaking. But oh well. 
I knew it weren't going to be easy first time around, so uh, if at first you don't succeed, bollocks to it and go and have a beer, but I've already done that, so um, we'll, uh, we'll reconvene with attempt number two. Well, we've done another test off camera and it pissed out there. Um, it wasn't a failure of the fitting, it was where this screws on to the male end of the fitting. Um, I thought I was going to have an issue, but it was even starting to dribble inside where the pressure of the water was working through the thread. So, last night the olives held after I took it all out and nipped them up again. And I just saw a bloody drip then. Hmm. And that'll be coming from the coil. So far, I was going to say so good. Um, it's not leaking from there again. If it's doing that, it could be the coil. Again, the water's working through the thread. I put ordinary PTFE. Yeah, I can now see a little bit of moisture coming round that so I'm gonna to have to do the same and take that off clean it and put the gas fitters tape on a little bit of jointing compound and try again but it's been I don't know five or ten minutes that that's now started to break through there but the olives are dry so far so at least if I can sort out the thread on the pot that's not too much of an issue but it's just uh, running out of time doing other bits and pieces so um, yeah I was hoping to get another fill it up and test the bloody seals but um, looks like I won't be doing that oh well back the drawing board again I managed to get me a little stubby down and uh, Let's see if we can throw some light on the subject. Ten minutes it's been under pressure. Um, got about another quarter of a turn on it. Let's see what we've got with this. But so far, so good. Well, we've had at least 15 minutes under pressure. And a good 40 minutes since I left the taps with the remaining water pressure in it. So probably nearly an hour now I should think. And we look good to go. Fingers crossed. Time to fill it up and see if uh, they'll hold. Well, I might say this too early, but I think we now have success. It's now 2.30 in the afternoon the next day. Although I'm not quite happy with how tight that has to be to do the job, it's doing the job. So we'll let, let leave it alone. And there should just be... Yep, still got pressure there so it's not leaked anything out into the tank. Just wetted up the kitchen area in here, but never mind. Not the first time. Yep, still a bit of pressure there, that's a good sign, it hasn't leached into the tank. Tank is still full, we did have a little bit more fun and games last night and messing around. Um, I nipped it up, well I slackened it off a couple of times, repositioned it and nipped it up and um, I haven't re-taped it. And time was getting on and I'd got other things to do, so... It's been left to the following day and she is dry as a bun. So, now I just got to bloody empty it.